Welcome! Today we are going to demonstrate another kind of caston, the Chinese waitress caston, which is a little more advanced than the ones um, we, we have showcased before. The Chinese waitress caston is a caston that is very stretchy, so it's super useful to know. Um, it's also very nice looking, it's a little thicker, it creates a nice uh, border or edge here to start with. Um, this is like a double chain cast on, so you can see here this is like one braid and then another one intricated together. So it's it's very uh, classy, it's very stable too. Um, and that's um, a little more complicated than the other, but when you get to it, you will remember for life because once again, muscle memory is gonna kick in. So um, to get started, this is a cast on where you need the two needles for. Um, now you're gonna start with a slip knot and you're gonna insert your left needle in the loop. Okay. Now you're going to place your right needle under the left one forming an X across like this. So the left needle with the yarn and the slip knot is on the left hand, crossing over the one, the, the right needle. Now the yarn is going to go under the right needle, over the left, and making a loop around the right needle kind of on the other side. So you have like this type of configuration. I'm gonna do it again without my fingers on the way. You're going under the right, over the left, and making the loop around the right here. And then you go with the yarn on this side, under the left one. Now you're going to create the stitch on the right needle here, okay? And the first one is essentially almost done, okay? You have this new stitch created. Now what you need to do, and this is actually key, not all the videos are showing that uh, for the Chinese waitress, but it, it's, uh, it's um, important to do. What you're going to do is you're gonna untwist here the stitch. So you're going to hold the stitch here with your fingers, remove the needle and reinsert on the other side. And then you can make it tighter. So that's the first stitch of the Chinese waitress cast on. Um, you're going to see as well that eventually the slip knot is going to go away. Now for the rest, you're going to pretty much repeat the same movement but we are going to add one more step. So you're under the right needle, going over the left, looping around the right needle, holding on the side and creating the stitch here. Now you have two, two here loops on your right needle. What you need to do is bring the one on the right over the left one. Okay, and you let go of this one to make it tight. Now here, same, we need to kind of untwist this stitch. So you hold it and you reinsert the needle the other way. And you can tighten it. And you're going to very quickly see this double chain. I'm gonna show you in a little bit because it's harder to um, turn around the needles uh, so early in the game. <laughs> We're gonna do it again. And all of the next stitches are gonna be those ones where you need to bring over the first stitch on the right needle over the second one. So once again, under the right, over the left, looping around the right, creating the stitch on the right needle here, Hold it tight, and with your left needle, you are going to catch this loop and bring it over the other one. So you have only one stitch on the right, and then you let go of this one on the left needle here, and then you tighten it nicely together so it's even. And again, under the right, you're always under, the yarn is in the back of your work. Over the left, around the right, in the back, 
creating the stitch two stitches bring it over let go hold it and untwist the stitch and lay a little bit around to make it even this way okay and again over around and two loops bring the first one over the left one the second one let go of this loop untwist the stitch and insert from the other side and tight and again very quickly it's gonna be an easy dance for your fingers and the needles i promise <laughs> let's do it again we are in the back under over the left around the right create the stitch bring the first one over the second one let go and untwist and now i'm gonna show you the results of how it looks you see we have this double chain here and here so it means the both sides of the work are going to look exactly the same okay so that's how you do the chinese waitress cast on i can guarantee that eventually you're going to be really fast with this one and you can watch this video as many times as you want i can also promise you that I had to practice a lot <laughs> before mastering it. But once you know it, it's actually a really, really nice uh, way of starting a work. And it gives your piece of um, your garment, whatever that is, a really nice edge and, um, and finish um, here. It's actually the start, but it also gives the finish of the piece. So I hope you like it. Uh, feel free to comment or ask questions or ask me anything. And if this video is not as useful, I'll make another one. <laughs> um, but you have all the steps um, and I hope you like it and you find it useful. Um, again, the Chinese waitress cast on. Uh, there is a very nice story around that. I'm not going to uh, add more time to this tutorial, um, but it's actually really nice. And you see, you can make something really pretty and beautiful. This is one of my favorite cast on. Um, again, I hope you like it uh, and you find it useful. Let me know otherwise and enjoy your knitting.